No, it's cool. Um, so like if you look, if you show their, the screen on that, you can see that you see the people dragging the stuff around. Like my, as you know, like consultants like me, like we spend all our times with sticky notes brainstorming. So mm -hmm. this, you know, obviously naturally we gra gravitate to it, but you can also do some very clever, smart diagramming type things. And like a new, like a client of ours coming in with no knowledge can participate right away in the way that you would with like your Sharpies and your stickies uh, on the spot. So as far as like everybody working together and sharing a whiteboard, it's the closest whiteboard experience I've had so far. Um, it doesn't help the sort of group situation and the company culture piece. That's a whole, that's a, that's a different thing. And I don't have solutions for that, but, but I really like this. And I, if you haven't tried it, I would, I would suggest you check it out. I, I highly su suggest Mural. I really like it. They have the ability to do templates. So if you want to re build a template and reuse it, um, you can kind of upvote on areas or objects that you've kind of put on there. So if you mm. want to kind of do sticky notes for ideas, you, it has sticky notes built in, or you want to kind of draw out your idea, and then someone goes out and draws out another idea and another idea, you can upvote or kind of thumbs up and vote on those items. Um, Miro is another one, M-I-R-O. Um, that comes close to Mural, probably not as advanced as Mural. Um, Mural does have integration with Teams. So if you're a Teams company, and I think they also integrate with Slack and a couple others. Um, so you can plug those into your persistent chat tool of choice. Um, they do, the closest Microsoft comes is Whiteboard and Whiteboard is trying to catch up, but they're definitely, 